the iterator design pattern. An interface with next and has next methods. Next returns the next object in the aggregate, which is a collection or a list or of objects. Has next returns a value, usually a Boolean indicating if the iterable is at the end of the list or not. So the aggregate, your collection or list of things, is called an iterable because we can iterate it. The benefits of using an iterator pattern is that the client can traverse an aggregate without needing to understand its internal representation and data structures. Let's look at an image. So this is a UML diagram of an iterator. So it's an object which implements two methods, has next and next, and that's the iterator interface that it implements. So let's start coding. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is create a file called iterator.py. Okay, and in that I'm going to import the ABC meta classes. So from ABC, import ABC meta and abstract method. Let's create the iterator interface. Okay, so static method, static abstract method, has next, returns a boolean whether at the end of the collection or not. And there's an static method, abstract method, next, and we turn the object in the collection. Let's create our iterable, which could be anything that we want to iterate, and I'm going to call it an iterable. Class iterable implements i int the iterator. This iterable is only going to return numbers, so I'm going to have a start value being zero and a maximum value equal, which equals seven. I need to implement the next and the has next methods now. So define next. If self index is less than self maximum. Okay, so x equals self index. Self index plus equals one. Return x. We're going to return a number being whatever index equals. And then we're going to increment it by one. And if we're at the end of our if let's say that condition is not true we'll return an error so we'll raise a custom exception at at end of iterator exception at end of iterator okay very good let's now implement the the has next method let's return self dot index is less than self dot maximum and that will return true most of the time unless self index has been incremented to a point where it's equal to seven okay let's create our client now now client will create a an object called iterable uh, equals an iterable And what we're going to do is print iterable dot next. Let's see what that does. Okay. Let's run that. Python iterator dot py zero. Okay. It returned zero x equals self dot index which equals zero and then an incremented index for the next time so if we were to run print iterable twice print iterable next twice we'll get a zero and a one zero and one now let's do that several times until we get to the end of the iterable so one two three four five six seven eight so that should throw an error Okay, so let's make that screen larger. Python iterator.py. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and there's an error at the end. At end of iterator exception. There we go. Okay, so another way we can use that. We can say while iterable has next print 
iterable dot next. Let's run that. There we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it didn't trigger an exception that time because we did a test if iterable has next.